What's up everyone and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Sweet Nuzlocke in which we're beginning by depositing another dead Pokesuite. So last time we assembled the Sweet Vengers, a team of really strong Pokesuites in my opinion, uh, Fudgesaur, Straw Wizard, and Gumtick. Unfortunately, Gumtick died. If you're not a starter Pokemon, apparently this game hates you and you're going to die, so I wouldn't be surprised if Cup Pumpkinette here is the next one to go, but... We're gonna try our best to not let that happen. So Fudgesaur, Straw Wizard still alive, Gumtick very, very much dead. So into the dessert heaven you go, my friend. I'm sorry, I'm a bad Pokemon Nuzlocke player. And so I must say goodbye. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother bringing a new Pokemon into this world because it's probably just going to die. So in today's episode, we're gonna be Finishing off the Sweet Whatever Incorporating, Sweet, Sweet Science Incorporated, totally forgot the name of it, but before I forget, I know in the last episode I kind of forgot to do the uh, Sweet Spotlight, uh, but it was because the intro was so long with all the training montage and whatnot, so let's bring that back, and if you guys are excited for this episode, make sure to leave a like, thank you so much for the support on the series so far, I know I'm not the best player, but I do appreciate you guys still sticking along with me, along with me, apparently I can't talk to a man, but alright, let's get to the fan art, uh, so starting off by Dark Stingray, there's a couple of team members there, actually ones that are still alive, I'm surprised because almost every other team member has kind of died, speaking of which, here's a dead one, Gumchu from the last episode, well, the last, last episode we had a Gumchu, and the last one we had Gum Tick. And it was actually pretty dumb how it died. It was totally my fault for speeding up the game and not thinking that much. But there it is with Banana. Here is Pystoise. Uh, so this awesome art here has a lot of our team members, including Lime Shroom, who's kind of dead. And Smorlax, who's kind of dead too. Man, a lot of Pokemon have died in this playthrough. A lot of great Pokemon, actually. This is amazing. Again, shout out to Sess, who did another awesome fan art of Banana before. Uh, but really great job to her, man. I don't know. These are amazing. Like, I love this one. I actually have it as my phone wallpaper right now. So, really awesome job. I don't know. Like, the character just looks really good. He's got that Kakashi vibe going, man. But either way, uh, we must continue along with the playthrough. I'm actually a little bit... Uh, reluctant to do so because I just I'm fearful for all our Pokemon honestly I, I don't know the last few episodes have not been too great to us as far as Pokemon dying so I'm just a little bit scared so really quick for those of you that are playing through the game and don't know exactly what to do here in the sweet super science Inc um, we got the key card actually the puzzle for it is very different from Silph Co so I'm just gonna show you real quick to get the key card I know we already have it, but basically you have to go up to the fifth floor, take this warp, take it back, and the key card will actually be right here. I already have it, obviously, but it would have been right here. Uh, so you grab that, and now we want to make our way to the third floor. I believe there's a couple of trainers that we didn't battle yet, but honestly, I don't really mind. We are at a decent level, and we have a couple of rare candies just in case we want to use those. Actually, we might want to use those on Fudgesaur. Uh, so let me find the rare candies real quick, and we'll go ahead and use those. We have ten of them, so kind of a lot of rare candies we'll get him up to the level 50 that the rest of the team is at so all of our pokemon will now be at that level um we have six more so yeah we can totally get them both to 60 or 50 actually so yeah everybody now at level 50 i don't know if that's actually over leveled for this uh, rival battle that's coming up but i'm gonna just use all of them i don't want any more pokemon to die at this point and that's why i'm not bringing along a random little pokemon and didn't train anybody up so i guess that's kind of why um, but there we go, we can open this up. Wait, this is the wrong place, I just realized. We're trying to make it to the fifth floor, or actually the third floor is where we can go to that rival battle. So, what floor are we on right now? Six, I think? So, we'll make it down a couple. Yep, fifth floor. So, let's go down a couple of floors, and this is how you exit this place. So, once you've got the card key, I think this place will be locked. If not, then, hmm, maybe it's not locked. If it isn't locked, well, I'm assuming it's locked because you would be able to go to the... I guess you can go this way too. Go to the ninth floor and then come here and this teleporter will take you to a nice rival battle. So yeah, third floor, use that card key. And here we go guys, I'm sorry this episode started off a little weird. I just, I, I'm honestly a little bit nervous uh, because, I don't know, there's no music. So, thank you Sunday. What kept you orange? Ha ha ha! I thought you'd turn up if I waited here. I guess they slowed you down. Not that I care. Now I'll show you! Well, if you wanted to make a rival battle be really intense and scare me even more than I already am of losing this playthrough, 
that's the way to do it. Thankfully, Sunday's actually got five Pokemon himself and is over 10 levels under our Pokemon. So never mind. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we'll probably be all right. So Swellpeep and Kandoros. Kandoros, really? Oh, man. We haven't seen a Mareep in a long time. I forgot what it was in this game, but... I'm assuming Swell PP here is a blueberry type. Uh, Kandoros, probably cherry. He's got a little cherry on his tail, so strawberry is super effective on him. Uh, we'll go Mud Pie on you then, and we'll just go strawberry on Kandoros there. We should probably focus down the same Pokemon. That strategy kind of works. Are you serious? That was a critical hit, but not very effective. Okay. Well, that was certainly interesting, because... I swear this thing's a cherry type. That means it's strawberry. Oh, no, I got it wrong. Oh, man. It's weak to apple. It resists cherry and strawberry. Okay, sorry. I have the type chart this time. I know I didn't have it in the last episode, but I have it back. I just misread it. Um, facing downwards is how it's weak. Is what it's weak to. So, cherry is weak to apple, actually. All right. Well, you should be able to take them both down. We do have an apple attack in slice here. So, yep, yeah, there we go. Now I know how to use my own type chart. That I, It's not actually my own type chart. Someone else made it, so it's not really mine. Uh, but anyway, next up, he's going to have a Shroom Pie. We get our sweet revenge against Shroom Pie. It's not really a revenge, but we just get to take another one down because there's been a couple of Shroom Pies here and there. Oh, the Pie Wave. Uh-oh. Is that going to be super effective? Not really. I don't know what attack that is in Pokemon Fire Red. Can't really tell. Um, but this thing is lime, so it should be weak to banana. I'll just, uh, take out Swell Peep and one banana wing should probably take out Shroom Pie in one hit here. It's level 35, so pretty weak, I would say. Yep, that's the one-shot kill. I don't know what's up with this, but, well, I do know what's up with this, sorry. The reason I am so over-leveled right now is because this area we should have been able to do a lot earlier. We've actually already completed the seventh gym at this point, and this town has the sixth gym in it, so... Yeah, we're a little bit over-leveled in this area. What is Blueberry Week 2? It looks like Strawberry and Lime. So, I guess we'll just Mud Pie Ricicle and we'll go Fruit Punch on you. The Fruit Punch that will take down the Ice Cream Cone, man. Alright, I'm glad that I have the Type Chart back. Oh, I should have just Mud Pied um, Fudgesaur, or sorry, Summer Cone there. Not Fudgesaur, I don't think you can hit yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Yeah, you can't do that in Pokemon. Oh! We were almost put to sleep there, but thankfully, you, Narukami's got my back, man. Not only is he counting the crits in the comment, uh, but he actually let me know that we have this item called Birthday Cake, uh, and that helps us, um, man, what am I talking about right now? I'm so, I'm so zoned out right now. <laughs> uh, we have an item called Birthday Cake, which is basically the Poke Flute of this game. Sorry, I'm just spacing all over the place right now. I don't know what it is, honestly. I think it's just I'm still not over the fact that Gumtick died. And I'm recording this episode, like, right after that. So it's still pretty fresh in my mind, even though for you guys it was a whole day. For me, not really. I'm, like, breaking the fourth wall right now, man. Stop doing that! Can't break the fourth wall in playthroughs. That's... I don't think that's really a rule or anything. But no music again. I don't know why when that guy walks. Apparently, he's so important that he's got to stop the music for absolutely everybody around. Uh, but if we check our key items, we got the birthday cake, which is basically the Poke Flute. So we could have been using that in the last episode to wake up our sleeping Pokemon. So thanks for the tip, man. I actually did not, or, well, I knew that we had the Poke Flute. I just, well, okay. I didn't remember that we had it, basically. And I didn't know that it was even called the birthday cake. So I probably wouldn't have noticed if no one had commented that. Either way, uh, now that we beat our rival, let's take the next warp pad and up to the 11th floor where we can now take on Choco Bun, and look at that, it looks like the Sour Admin is also here, and we've got a little Grunt as well. No names for the Grunts though, that's pretty unfortunate man, usually these Grunts have really cool names, but not this time. So, Grape Week to Cherry, uh, Orange, and Blueberry. Alright, we have Cherry, I don't know if we have a... Uh, does it resist any of these? Probably not, so we'll just go Slice on you. Slice and Dice, or Slice and Whip. Oh my gosh, the critical hits are real! Slice and whip, man! Lollywhack just got whacked. That's probably the worst pun I could make. I mean, it's not really even a pun. I'm just referencing the fact that his name has whack in it, and he got whacked, so maybe it's kind of irony. A little bit of irony in there. I'm gonna iron... I, I, I run to you. I run for president. I... What am I doing right now, dude? I'm trying to come up with puns on the spot, but... I'm not good at that, so you go for that false swipe, even though that wouldn't... Why, like, why do people... Or why 
would this guy use false swipe in this case like I understand that Pokemon AI is not the greatest but from a standpoint where I am you know mr. grunt I just gotta advise you buddy false swipe pretty good at catching Pokemon not so great in battles even if you've gotten like the most massive critical hit ever and managed to take our HP all the way down it would have left us at 1 HP so I just gotta tell you man false swipe not not really the best attack now oh. Here we are, Orange, we meet again. I don't remember if I had a crazy voice for this guy, but I guess we'll make one up now. You'll be, I think he's actually an old guy, so we'll try to do an old man voice. The sisters and I are discussing a vital business proposition. Keep your nose out of grown-up matters, or experience a world of pain. Oh gosh, yeah, he got a big butt. Well, at least his little mini sprite looked like it did. But a uh, sour admin jerk. Great name, man. Your parents must be proud of that one. Let's take him down, though, and see if we even have to do anything with the Choco Bun sisters. Honestly, this guy's like a little stepping stone for us right now. I'm not even worried about him. I'm more so worried about the fact that we might have to face those Choco Bun sisters. So, I think Kangas Cake is chocolate type. And I know that Banana by Imperior is banana type, which is weak to Apple. So, let's go for the slice here. That should be a one-shot kill, especially with how strong and... Nope, never mind. This is why I should probably start using both of my attacks on the same Pokemon. Looks like I was right though. Kangaskake is a chocolate type and we're gonna one-shot that. Couldn't one-shot the Vampirior, but definitely one-shot the Kangaskake there. Uh, but now he's bringing out Torturing. Oh man, look at that thing, dude. He's got a little... What is that on his uh, on top of him? I can't even tell what that is. But I think this thing is Lime? Lemon type? Lemon, lemon Lime? One of those two? Which is weak to banana, so we'll go for that. Uh, I guess we'll try. I don't know, man. I'm not really sure. It might be even both types, because it looks like a lemon on its head. Nope, I don't think so, because I probably would have one shot it if it was four times super effective, but not quite. Not quite. I think both of them, yep, both of them are weak to banana type. So Vampirior would somehow, you know, go full crazy mode and attack his own teammate. He would, he would totally take him down. They're not going to do that. And this guy not really posing too much of a threat right now, to be honest. I mean, we are pretty high level. Like I said, this area is one that we could have done a long time ago, but because I couldn't get into the city until recently, not really much I could do about that one. The game kind of bugged out, so it wouldn't let me go into the city earlier. Would have totally done it, like, then. That's why I don't know why I'm worried so much. As long as I'm not speeding up battles, no Pokemon should really die, like... The gum tick incident was really unfortunate because what happened was that Mawile that we were fighting used Swords Dance and then Banana Slip, which was super effective. So obviously, kind of one shot me there. Um, but if I had not been speeding up, I probably would have noticed that it used Swords Dance and gotten out of there. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm still pretty sad over it, to be honest. Anyway, blast it all. You ruined our plans, but Team Sour will never fall. Never forget that all sweets exist for Team Sour. I must go, but I shall return. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, like every boss, they, they shall return. So I'm wondering now if we have to battle these guys, because I don't think I'm prepared to battle either of them. You have my thanks for this. It's D Choco Bun, and what is this one? Just Choco Bun. So it's Choco Bun and D Choco Bun. I think it stands for dark, but I guess we'll find out. Hi there, Orange. Sorry to meet again like this, but wow, I owe you big time now, I guess, huh? Sister, you owe Orange nothing. We could have handled it. Aw, oh, come on, sis. Don't be that way. Now, Orange, you've been so helpful. You deserve something sweet. I know. How would you like to see something super secret? What? No, sister, don't. Ta-da! We get a Master Ball! You can't buy that anywhere. It's our secret prototype Master Ball. It will catch anything without fail. You should be quiet about using it, though. Alright, so turns out these guys are good. I thought they were kind of evil. I thought they were working with Team Sour, but... No, nope, Team Sour was working to capture them. I, I confused Team Sour and the Pirates, I guess, because the Pirates are also pretty sure they're after the Choco Bun Sisters, and... Uh, well, the Choco Bun sisters kind of run this Poké Sweet world. I forgot about that little detail. So with that done, we have now completed Sweet Science Inc. And we've got a little bit of time left in this episode. So I guess we should take on the gym trainers then. Maybe we can do gym trainers and then, uh... Well, the thing is, we don't really have that much left in the game aside from this gym. Uh, once we beat this gym, we head back to Viridian. We take on that last gym and then there's not really much else. So I don't know, man. This game... 
might actually be closer to coming to an end than I thought. I keep getting super nervous for everything that's happening, but yeah, I, I don't know. I guess we us being under or pretty over leveled is soon going to be a thing of the past because I feel like once we head to Viridian City, we're going to be pretty under leveled in comparison. Uh, and I totally forgot that you can't leave the gym once you go inside, so Mobby. Yes, I know, teleport puzzles suck. How about asking trainers, really? We just did a giant teleporting puzzle, and you're gonna tell me about how teleport puzzles suck, dude. Come on, man. Ah, the worst part was that they actually remade Silph Co. completely, like the Sweet Science Sync, the puzzle was completely different. So if you missed the last episode, you didn't see me go through the pain of actually figuring that place out. That was uh, pretty tough stuff, man. I think both of these are weak to Cherry, so yeah, I should take him down pretty easily. Um, not weak to Apple though. Oop. Yeah, we'll just speed through these battles then, because I mean, as long as nothing like that uh, gum tick incident happens, we'll be all right. And these guys seem pretty low level too, so now that everybody's at the same level though, we can start using any Pokemon that we want, really. We only have five, but we can use any of these five that we want, so who should we use, really? I, I guess we'll just stick with Fudgesaur and uh. Straw Wizard, since they are our latest two Pokemon, gotta give them a little bit of the spotlight, man. The limelight, maybe some fan art of them will come through eventually, and we'll show that off for sure, but there's actually quite a lot of fan art, especially since I missed the last episode, or I didn't show it off in the last one. Uh, there's a little bit backed up now, so yeah, we got we got some more. Hopefully it lasts throughout the rest of them, um, or rather, like, I can get through it before the end of the playthrough, because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be way more than enough to finish off or to go through all the way till the end of the playthrough, so the opposite of that. Another nice critical hit for Straw Wizard. Why do I keep calling him Straw Wizard now, man? <laughs> He's Straw Wizard, like Charizard, but it's because it says Wizard. It just makes me want to say Wizard. So I love the Wizards of Waverly Place so much. My favorite show when I'm at the gym and I have nothing to watch and, and like American Dad is on. And I'm not a big fan of American Dad, so I'll usually at that point switch to uh, Disney Channel and. Sometimes the Wizards of Waverly places on. Not gonna lie, I, I watch it from time to time. If not only for the fact that Selena Gomez is in it, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, I can't say it's an all right show. It's got some all right actors in it, I guess. Not really because of their acting, just because of Selena Gomez, I guess. So I guess maybe it doesn't have very good actors. It just has one, the one that I care about at least. Neither of you are Zubat. Why are you tricking me right now? But hey, there's a Panfisk. I never even found out what type Panfisk is. I'm pretty sure it's grape type. We don't, wait, is it? This is a grape type gym then. And the only thing we have against grape type is um, Liquor Whip here, which is almost out of PP. So we're not gonna do too great in this gym, especially because we actually can't heal up. And I forgot about that little fact. So yeah, I should probably conserve our PP a little bit more. I'm not doing a good job conserving our PP. Whatever, goodbye Tyron. You're almost Tyrion, but not quite. Maybe if you'd, uh, like, shrink down about three feet or something. How short is he, actually? How short do you have to be to be, like, a legit, uh, what do they call it? What is the proper term? Because I don't want to say midget, because that's rude, right? I th I'm pretty sure it is. I learned this a long time ago, because I think, like, the first time, well, I don't even remember, honestly, when it was, but... It was a pretty long while ago, back when I used to live in New York, and there was a, I think they're called, what, what is the actual term? I don't know. See, I don't want to be rude now, because maybe there is a little person watching this video right now, like my boy Tyrion. I'm just saying, when I first moved to New York, I didn't know that they even, like, that they existed, because I'd never seen one in my time living in Puerto Rico. So, I was like... Very, very, very confused, as you might tell. As an eight-year-old boy, when you've never seen a little person before, and you see one for the first time, okay, maybe I was like 11, actually, but still, I was young is the point, and I'd never seen a little person before, so I was very, very confused. I legit thought it was like an Oompa Loompa in real life. I guess I had seen Oompa, like Oompa Loompa, so I knew, and I seen The Wizard of Oz, so I don't know. I legit thought it was like movie magic. I didn't think that that short people actually existed. Point being, man, this all stemmed from the fact that that one dude's name was Tyron and that was close to Tyrion. See, this is how scatterbrained I am. If you guys uh, watch my videos, you might know I'm pretty scatterbrained in general, but sometimes I don't realize it myself, which is kind of weird. Like, I don't realize how scatterbrained I am myself. Um, but 
these kind of things are what let me know that I am. This is like what reminds me. This is, this is what tells me that I should probably stay on track a little bit more, huh? I mean, it's not like there's much going on in this gym. We just got a bunch of grapes. Bunch of grapes, man. Bunch of grapes. Uh, we'll finish you off with hunger dust. The disrespect, dude. This is this is how you disrespect the lollywhack. You just finish him off with the hunger dust. Uh, so level 52 on Fudgesaur there. Bill S. Preston goes down. And I think there's only one more trainer left in this gym. So we'll heal up Fudgesaur. But actually also put up Straw Wizard up first. Uh, so let's see. How do we get to that last trainer? Is this one we haven't battled? Yep, it is. Actually, I think there's two trainers then. There's this one and then the one right below us. And then somehow we're gonna make it to the gym leader. So I don't know how we're gonna do that. Uh, Velvet Boar here. I know is at least half chocolate type, but I don't know what its other half is. I'm gonna guess cherry, in which case it would be weak to apple. So let's try that. And we were right. All right, man. I love it when a plan comes together. So I'm gonna guess bottom. That should take us to the last trainer. Yep. I don't know how I've managed to guess this entire puzzle right, but we did somehow. So the double malts now. These guys are cherry, right? I think these guys are cherry at least. Um, I don't really want to use my... Ah, man, these guys are weak anyway, so we don't even... Alright, Fudgesaur. I'm going to go ahead and take you out of here because I, I actually am probably going to need you for the gym leader. You have our only cherry type... ...type attack, so yeah, we're probably going to need him. Um, and then we'll just take you out. What actually just happened? What actually just happened? Did it destiny bond? It definitely destiny bond. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and call this an episode. I'm gonna- I'm gonna call the end of this episode right here. And, uh... Well, 